What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Solomon Spectre. It's a versatile daily training shoe that's kind of designed to do just about everything, including a little speed work. So let's take a look. But first I want to let you know that Solomon did send the Spectre to me to review. I did not pay for these. Uh, you know, they're not going to influence my thoughts. Like always, I'm going to tell you the truth every time. And down below in the description will be a link to go purchase the Solomon Spectres if you are so inclined. As always in every one of my shoe reviews, we're going to start off with some stats of the Solomon Spectre. First off, it is a neutral road running shoe. It does have a little bit of twist to it. It is a little stiff. Uh, but that is because uh, what's inside of this midsole, which we'll get to here in just a minute. But like I said, it is a neutral road running shoe, uh, you know, fairly flexible. Stack height in this is going to be 27 and a half millimeters in the rear, 21 and a half millimeters in the front for a six millimeter drop. And the fit of the Solomon Spectre is true to size. Men's size 11 fit just fine. And as far as weight goes for a men's size 11, threw it on my scale, weighed in 11.2 ounces or 319 grams. So by all means, it is not a lightweight shoe, uh, but it's not exceptionally heavy either. And it feels pretty decent underfoot, which we'll get to in just a moment. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, learning something about the Solomon Spectre, scroll down and give the video a thumbs up. That would just really be awesome and I'd appreciate it. Moving on, let's talk about the upper of the Solomon Spectre. It is a plush upper for sure. It is a engineered mesh and it, uh, it's definitely there for the comfort of your foot and you'll feel it while you're running. It does feel really good on the foot. Lots of padding in the heel cup. I, I really like the way that the sense of fit works. It just, it grips the heel with the laces, the whole lockdown in that heel is just really nice. Uh, the padding on the inside, which you can see is really good to the point where, I mean, I could see wearing this thing long, maybe, you know, I'm talking ultra marathon distance as far as the comfort of the upper goes, it's really nice. The tongue is quite thick, provides good cushioning as well. You're not gonna have any issues when you lace those up, you tie them, as you can see, it is regular laces as well. This isn't the speed lace system. And it's just, it works well. The laces tie nice and it's just comfortable. The only issue with the laces I have is they are a little long. I actually have to tuck them in to the front here because they would be dragging the ground. Now a good part of that could be, you know, I don't have a very voluminous foot. Uh, so I have to tie these pretty tightly. And as far as the toe box is concerned, it's, you know, pretty good size as well. It's not very wide. It's also not very narrow. It kind of fits just an average size foot. I would say my foot is pretty average. However, in the medial arch of the foot, it is a little bit narrow. So just keep that in mind. If you have a wider foot, this might not work. Because uh, it is more on the average to narrower size. The upper is incredibly comfortable. I will say I put about 50 miles on these shoes so far. I've taken them on the roads. I've taken them to the track. I've used them on my treadmill. Various distances and speeds. And overall, the upper is fantastic. I really like it. It is thicker. It doesn't breathe super well. Uh, you take a look at the tissue test. You can see when I put it on low, uh, the tissue barely moved at all. And then when I flipped it to high, you can see that it went up a good bit but it does feel like a warmer shoe in the hot weather. Your foot will feel it. My foot definitely was sweating a bit in some of the hot temperatures here in the, uh, you know, in Tennessee humidity. But overall, this upper is very comfortable and I think it's gonna last quite a while. The midsole though, that's kind of where the magic happens for the Solomon Spectre. It's a combination of the Energy Surge midsole foam with the R camber technology, the rocker shape of that midsole. It really just helps it go through the gait cycle and give you that propulsion uh, towards the toe off. And inside there you have the Energy Blade. And it's just, uh, I have a you know, good experience with the Energy Blade with the Solomon Pulsar Trail, which I love. And it works really well on this. It kind of helps the shoe not feel so heavy underfoot. Cause it is, you know, it's an 11 ounce shoe in a men's size 11, so it's not light. But with the R camber geometry of the midsole, with that Energy Blade built into the midsole, you definitely feel a little bit of a propulsion going forward, especially at the higher paces. When you're kind of just going around at an easy pace, you know, whatever that is for you, uh, it does feel maybe not quite so light. But when you pick up the paces, when you maybe you're doing a, some strides at the end of your workout, or maybe you want to take it to the track and go do some 400 meter intervals, you can certainly do that because the shoe does come to life when you get at those higher speeds for sure. As far as the comfort goes of the midsole, that energy surge foam is just really nice. It provides some good response back under your foot, but yet it feels uh, you know fairly cushioned. This is a medium stack height shoe. So, you know, like I said, 27 and a half in the rear, 21 and a half in the front for a six millimeter drop. So it's not a maximally cushioned shoe. It's not gonna have, you know, that all day kind of comfort, but this shoe is not really designed to be worn every day of the week. It's kind of a, 
you know, two, three, four times a week kind of shoe. The midsole is just a little bit firm, but with that firmness, there's still a little bit of that give and that cushion from the, uh, from the midsole. Overall, the midsole of the Solomon Spectre has been pretty nice and surprising, honestly. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, in any paces, I've enjoyed it pretty nicely. As far as the outsole goes for the Solomon Spectre, it's their Contra Road Grip outsole. You can see it's kind of a uh, they call them a flat lug design, but it's basically a grooves that go up and down from the from the heel to the forefoot all the way down and, and it curves around the heel right here. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, honestly, the grip has been fantastic. I've taken these in a little bit of rain, not any kind of heavy rain, but, you know, a light rain. And it's been perfectly fine. As far as durability goes, I think these will last for quite a while. The amount of rubber that you have here from this Contra Grip rubber is uh, fairly good. That's probably where a good bit of that weight comes from, too. But... I think it's gonna last, I mean, honestly, I could see this outsole lasting 500 miles without issue. I think it's gonna be just fine uh, and just provide you great grip along the way. One other thing to note about the outsole of the Spectre is, like I said, it is a lot of that Contra Grip rubber, but another benefit of that is it does actually kind of provide a little bit of protection from the rocks. So if you're running on maybe a you know gravel road or maybe just a country road where there's a lot of loose gravel around anyway, uh, you know, it's been fine for me. That's what I run on a lot and I've not had any issues with uh, discomfort, rocks poking through, so it's been really nice in that respect. And the bottom line of the Solomon Spectre is it is a good daily training shoe. If, if you're someone who wants to buy just one pair of shoes to be able to go do just about any kind of run in, the Solomon Spectre kind of meets that category. It's going to have the durability for a daily trainer that you can use for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles. It has that snap to it when you want to go fast, albeit it's not a track shoe, it's not a race day shoe, it is a heavier shoe but it's certainly a shoe that you could do those things in and get the needed workout done. And at a price point of $130, that's a, you know, it's, that's a pretty good shoe. You get a lot for $130 with that versatility. So overall, the Solomon Spectre has been a great shoe. I'll continue to use it in my rotation. I, I do enjoy the ride from it, definitely. So yeah, I'll continue to use it and put lots of miles on and let you know uh, if I see anything different about the durability as I do that. Well, that's it. That's the review of the Solomon Spectre. I hope it was helpful. If so, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, scroll down, click the thumbs up, give it a like. That helps out a lot. I would really appreciate it. And maybe if you're new, consider clicking subscribe too and you'll see more videos like this in the future. And if you want to take a look at what I would say is the trail equivalent, basically, to the uh, Spectre, why don't you take a look at the Pulsar Trail. It's a fantastic shoe, really becoming one of my favorite trail shoes just it's an awesome shoe it's gonna be on your screen on this side go ahead and take a look at it and then over here i'll put a playlist of some other shoe reviews as well to take a look at so yeah thank you for watching i appreciate you all thank you to solomon for sending the shoes and i'll see you on the next one